optimization is the process by which Optic Studio helps you to achieve the goals that you want. In this example, I'm designing an F5 singlet lens. I have a Plano singlet uh, with a just first guesses at the radius and thicknesses. Now, if I want, rather than just typing in numbers, and this is very good practice, rather than doing that, I can just tell ZMAX that what I want here is an F number of five, and if enter five, and ZMAX then calculates the radius of curvature here exactly so that I have an F number of five. You can see, however, the lens is not exactly in focus, so I can just click on here, and in the optimization uh, tab, I'll just go in the manual adjustment section to quick focus and just quickly bring that into focus. You see how that just got adjusted like there. So here is an F5 lens, and it's in good focus. It's got an RMS radius of, call that 48 microns. That's this spot size here. Can I do better? Well, in order to do better, I need to tell ZMAX two things. One is, what can it change? And the other is, how does it know a good design when it sees it? So I'm going to tell it that it can change this radius of curvature here, which I'll do using the keyboard uh, shortcut uh, Control V, and here, or I could use the, the Solve dialog box and uh, just use the variable Solve. Either one works just fine. So those are the parameters that ZMAX can change. And in order for me to tell ZMAX what, I'm, what I want it to do, I'm going to use this optimization wizard. And the optimization wizard opens up and it's going to tell me what, uh, it's going to show me what uh, I could, the things I can optimize for, which in this case, I really want RMS spot radius to optimize for and I'm going to set goals that say the edge thickness of the lens mustn't be less than two millimeters uh, and that the center thickness should be between four and ten and if I simply apply this that will build me a merit function uh, that will measure the spot size with these constraints on it so I can just close that now and click on the optimize button and start the optimization and you'll see it finishes very very quickly it went so fast that's the the initial spot size going down to this value and if we look here at the lens now you'll see that the rms radius is 10 microns so it's quite close to its diffraction limited value of three microns and i got this value of radius this back focal distance and the F number solve updated this radius to give me this value. So I still have an F5 lens, uh, but now giving me about five times smaller spots than my initial first guess was.